Hello guys! In today's video we are going to work on vocabulary. This was created specifically for the Duolingo English test, but it's also useful for general English practice. Everybody needs vocabulary practice. It's been a little while since I've done this kind of video, so I thought we would do it again, but I did make a couple of changes. So we're going to start with reading words and determining if they're actual English words. Then I'll give you the answer to that section. And then we'll do the section where you listen and determine if words are English words. And I'll give you the answer for that. But then at the end of this video, I decided to put an activity in. So I've chosen 10 of the words that I'm presenting in this video and I'm giving you sentences to fill in the missing words. So I hope you find it helpful and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, you have one minute to identify the English words and your time starts now. All right, your time's up. Let's check your answers. To save time, I'm going to focus on the words that are real words. Exacerbate is a verb. It means to make something worse. Parameter is a noun, and it means that there are limits or boundaries. Acquit is a verb. It means to release someone from an obligation. Usually in English, we use this word when we're talking about someone who has been accused of a crime and they've been found innocent by the court. Permeate is a verb, and it means that something has spread everywhere. So you could say that, for example, a paper towel has been permeated with water. It's the similar meaning to saturate. Thwart is a verb. It means to oppose someone or to prevent them from doing something. Hierarchy is a noun, and it's a system of rank. So it would mean that one person or animal is in a higher position than another. It's usually with a person, but I do say animal because wolves have a hierarchy, for example. Astute is an adjective, and it means that someone is very clever. Subside is a verb, and it means that something becomes less. So, for example, so if something is loud, it could become quiet. If something is very active, it could be still. Infrastructure is a noun, and it's the basic framework or features of a system. If we're talking about a building, then it would be the plumbing or the electrical system. Utilize is a verb. It means to put something to use. Insure is a verb, and it means to make sure or to guarantee something. For this section, listen for the correct English word. On the test, you're allowed to play each word up to three times, and you have about a minute and a half. For this one, I'm just going to repeat each word twice. Word one, methodate, methodate. Word two, undertake, 
undertake. Word three, modentical. Modentical. Word four, analytic. Analytic. Word five, ineluctable. Ineluctable. Word six, questionnaire. Questionnaire. Word seven, insurlish. Insurlish. Word eight. Latent. Latent. Word nine. Duratex. Duratex. All right, let's check your answers. The first word, methodate, is not real. It is completely made up. Undertake is a verb. It means to take something upon oneself, like you're deciding to do a job or a task. Modentical is completely made up. Analytic is an adjective. This relates to studying something carefully or with careful reasoning. Ineluctable is an adjective. It means that something cannot be changed or avoided. A questionnaire is a noun. It's a written set of questions that you give to someone to learn facts, kind of like a survey. In Surlish is completely made up. Latent is an adjective. It's something that exists but may not be active at the moment or it's something that cannot be seen. Duratex is completely made up. All right, I've created sentences for 10 of the words. To participate, take a look at each sentence and decide which word goes in the blank. You may need to change the word form. And you may need to pause the video as I only allow about five seconds before the answer is shown.
Thank you so much for watching the video and let me know in the comments below how you did with filling in the words into the sentences. All right, I'll see you in the next video.